Mike with TopDaddies.com and today we're at the Calgary Stampede and we're behind the scenes with Luke Creasy. Luke, thanks for meeting with me. Uh, my pleasure. So Luke, tell me, uh, what do you do? I'm a professional bareback rider. We ride bucking horses. We hold on to a firm rawhide handle and when the horse leaves the chute, we stick our feet in the neck and bring them up to our handle and back and forth the whole way across for eight seconds. That's pretty amazing. And you're pretty accomplished with uh, what you do as well. What have you done? I've been to CFR Canadian Finals about five times, I think. And uh, right now I'm sitting fourth in the world. And uh, I've been here four times as well, I believe. That's pretty amazing. Now, this is, uh, you know, a pretty uh, light sport, a pretty easy thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it can be tough, but it's also a lot of fun. A lot of fun as well. Now, of course, you are a dad. Yes. So, dad. Uh, how old is your uh, child? How many kids do you have? Cash just turned four, June 2nd. He's my only kid, and uh, he's the world to me. That's pretty awesome. And so, with uh, what you do, it's uh, it's pretty dangerous, obviously. Uh, after you had your son, did, that, did anything change for you? Have you thought about uh, quitting? or? Well, I mean, it's crossed my mind a few times. The... When my son was, you know, just about a year old, I broke my femur, and uh, I had to sit out quite a while for that, and I got a lot of time with him, and, you know, contemplated going to law school or getting my master's and stuff like that, but uh, um, I just had a lot of backing that, you know, pushed me to keep going, and, uh, you know, even with all the doubts and concerns, you know, once you've gathered back and got that success going again, I mean, you just kind of want to do it and make him proud kind of thing so I've just so, been going on with it. Does your dad, uh, does your son love watching you? Yeah sometimes he's not too impressed sometimes <laughs> like a lot of the time he doesn't really understand the eight second rule and I'll come back and he'll be like you bucked off no I mean I wrote him I made money no no you bucked off but uh, <laughs> you know and he doesn't always like you know me being gone he'll you know if I'm like oh I got five rodeos to go through five's too many what about four is four okay and you know he he just misses me like he's, I, you know, his mom's always telling me like he's asking for me, so I talk to him on the phone a lot and, you know, try to FaceTime when I can and just take him with me when I can. And, uh, you know, he, he does enjoy the rodeo scene a fair bit. Like, he can play behind the buck and shoot. He's getting to that age where he's pretty automatic and yep. you know, can handle it. Are, are you getting him involved? Do you aspire for him to uh, get into this? He can do whatever he wants to. I want him to get a good education and... Uh, you know, if he wants to do any other sport, that's fine too. But uh, he's started sheep riding this year. The first time, I kind of I talked him into it, and then when he was done and he landed kind of hard, he started swinging at me out in the arena. He's like, "No, I told you I didn't want to." <laughs> but the second time, they let me get in the shoot with him, and he, you know, when he got off, he gave me high five and was really excited about it. So I mean, he's he's getting that way. He used to say he wanted to be a bareback rider. Now he just says, "I want to be a sheep rider." So. <laughs> Can I ride sheep? Am I too big to do that now? Yeah, you're too big. I don't think I'd want to try the horses. <laughs> yeah, too... they're, they're a little bit too big. A little yeah. bit too big, yeah. So what's important to you as a dad? Ah, just being there for him and when I'm with him, just focusing on him. Like, when I'm not rodeoing, when I have my son, I mean, I'm there. Like, I am 100% present, and that's that's important. Like, he know, like, when he's with me, he is the center of the world, and he knows that, and that's... I think that's important, you know. And then when I'm on the road, it's not just, you know, the way I usually stick to business and I'm to the rodeo ride and, you know, go get rest. I mean, we'll go do stuff. Like, when we went to San Antonio this year, we didn't even stop by the rodeo or the hotel. We went straight to SeaWorld. And, you know, I try to do stuff like that with him. And that, you know, it makes my life more enjoyable. And it's stuff that, you know, he, he really enjoys. And that, that makes my day better. Like, the day in the arena can go like crap. And as long as, you know, he's having fun, that makes it a good day. Yeah. So how do you balance the uh, pressures of uh, business, essentially, with uh, with um, your, the demands of uh, having a child? Well, it's just having a child is my life, and then, you know, rodeo's my job. I mean, it's pretty, compared to guys who have to work a nine-to-five, I get a pretty easy go of it. You know, I work out when he's sleeping, and I, you know, when I'm competing, he's getting to play, and, you know, there's usually other kids, other families there he gets to hang out with, and so it's all, you know, rodeo's a pretty good uh, livelihood to have a kid involved with, you know, like I can pack him with me, and, you know, most of the time we're just hanging out, so it's pretty good. So if you were to give uh, dads uh, an advice of what it means to be a top dad, what, what would you say? 
they're number one. The kids, they're your life. You put your focus on them and try to make everything towards benefiting them. Like when I'm out there competing, I'm making money to put my kid through college, you know, and just when you're there, be present, you know, don't don't be going through your emails or trying to take care of business. I mean, you got to do what you've got to do in your life to, you know, make money and stuff. But I mean, when you're home, be home. And that's that's probably be, key. Be present. Well, Luke, thank you so much for meeting with us, and uh, good luck out there today. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun watching. Uh, there you go, folks. So uh, for more interviews, please check out topdaddies.com, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, you can follow Luke on Twitter as well, right? Yeah, uh, at Luke Creasy on Twitter and Facebook fan page and all that. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll definitely follow you. Until next time.